Greetings, everybody. This is Rachel Gill, also known as Pinky Tescadero. I'm a DBT peer mentor. I started uh, DBT Peer Connections. I'm also an undergraduate student um, in my senior year who's conducting an independent study testing the feasibility of a dialect dialectical behavior therapy skills training massive open online course for emotion dysregulation and this video is going to give you a basic overview for you who are um, invited to be participants or instructors or otherwise you know participate participating in the research I wanted to give you kind of an overview of how to navigate through the course how to access the course you know what your invitation would look like or <clears throat> what your invitation will look like in the when you receive an email to participate and uh, so that way once you do get your invitation you'll already have an idea of how to navigate the course and how to get started so with that said so let's um, start with uh, the invitation that you'll get in your email so I'll, um, I created a uh, <clears throat> kind of a dummy test one so that you could see it but this one highlighted right here it'll say you know no reply at course sites welcome to course sites so if you've gotten if you get an invitation it's because you've signed up for my uh, research participant wait list uh, it's, I've been I've had it up for over a year and so um, you will get something that will look like this in your email box and um, what what will happen is I will pre-register you in the system and you will get this to tell you your username and how, how to sign in so now you see right here it says dear DBT now the reason they call you DBT is because we're not going to use your real name um, or anything because we're trying to protect your privacy and uh, so everybody will have a username their first name will be DBT and their last name will be uh, a, a, a number a three-digit number um, so for here for the test purposes the username is DBT00 now because um, because you know you don't want to send passwords and stuff in the email um, you just you see you know make a note of your make a note of your uh, username right here you know copy it or whatever just so that you have it or remember it and then click the forgot password now that will take you to this screen and then here it'll say your D your first name remember it's DBT your last name is your assigned participant number this one is the test one zero 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 and then your username is a combination of those two so it would be DBT zero 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 right and um, and then you hit the submit button okay so this is your global menu um, so you can go and create your profile if you want but we're gonna skip that right now that's just like you know putting in your name your picture all that stuff and this will be your main screen and this shows you this is the courses that you're enrolled in the student orientation your path to success this is a course sites thing that tells you how to use this program but you want to go to you know DBT peer connection skills training massive open online course that's your course that's our curriculum now when you go click on that this will take you to the page that this page will automatically pop up every time you come up and this is your d daily DBT diary card now in DBT you are required to fill out a daily a diary card every day for the week and then when you um, then you know you usually you would review them with your therapist every week when you come in for your um, session but since this is just a skills training program um, we're incorporating it in here into a, an embedded Google form and it's more for you to kind of get an idea of how to use the diary card build awareness of your um, emotions and just practice so every time you come and sign into class it's going to come to this page that will always come up on the first day fill it out if you want to if you don't want to it's up to you I would like you to just because you're, it would give you the most of like you'd be actually doing what you'd be doing if you had to be in DBT but it's up to you now up over here is your course menu and this is going to give you access to all the different you know features in the course and uh, since this one says start here orientation that's a good place to start 